An ABC News website has a story about a man who has refused a job at a Christian-oriented company because he wasn't Christian enough. The link is below. Apparently he was asked to identify every church he has attended over the past several years, where and when he was saved, and the circumstances that led up to it. He was also told that he could attend any church he wanted as long as he was born again and was asked if he minded coming into work early, without pay, for Bible study. The company, Voss Lighting Company of Lincoln, Nebraska, is of course denying that, that he was not hired because he wasn't Christian enough. Mr. Wolf, the man denied a job, is suing. Now this may seem to be an isolated case, nevertheless it should give one pause. Now the right wing is fighting Obamacare. One of their key issues is contraception and the fact that the Catholic Church as well as others are against contraception. They argue that no one should be forced to do something that is against their religion. Now if they were to get their way then any company could opt out of insurance coverage for their employees because of religion. What if a company w was owned by strict Jehovah's Witnesses and that who, because they didn't believe in blood transfusions, didn't want to pay for anybody else's. What about those who don't believe in conventional medicine at all, believe that prayer heals all illness? What about Scientologists who don't believe in psychiatry? What about those who believe that illness is due to infestation by demons and will only pay for exorcisms? What about those who, for religious reasons, don't believe in insurance at all? All of these are possible scenarios. I am especially concerned about the last one. I can imagine companies, not multinationals, but smaller privately owned companies, using that as an excuse not to pay insurance of any kind at all. It has also been brought up that should the right be successful with Obamacare, their next assault might be on minimum wage. David Barton and others have preached that minimum wage is against the Bible. So are companies then going to be able to opt out of the minimum wage law for religious reasons? We need to keep out a watch out for our own version of, of creeping Sharia. Now, I know that term is kind of a joke, but there are people in this company that, that believe that not just one religion, but one version of one religion should be the law of the land and that that is a form of Sharia, of Christian Sharia. So what does this have to do with the fellow denied a job because he wasn't Christian enough? Well if he has a good case he'll succeed in his lawsuit. Whatever happens the company is going to be more careful in the future. Doesn't mean they won't discriminate it just means they'll be more careful when they do. What really gets to me is that not Christian enough part and the fact that the company thought they could actually get away with this. I think this is related to the sense of entitlement the Christian conservatives in this country feel and how it can affect even a conservative Christian who is deemed just not Christian enough. If the religious right gets their way then even amongst Christians who will be Christian enough? Anyway, thanks for listening, and I just think we should try to keep track of all these little stories and see what happens and see if there really is a trend here or not. There clearly is a trend toward trying to make a fundamentalist form of Christianity the law of the land in this country. They will, they will deny that. They'll say, oh, no, 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 we don't want to have uh, Christianity rule everything. And yet they come back and say, well, this is a Christian country. So my point is we just need to be on watch. So again, thanks for listening and watching. Although you're really not watching much with me, but thanks.